we're going to be looking at the different layers of a rainforest. So if you look at the following diagram, in the bottom left corner, you can see a typical two-story house. And then in the middle, you can see the height of a rainforest. So rainforests can go up to 50 meters in height. And they're split into five main layers. There's the undergrowth, the shrubs, the small trees, the canopy, and the emergent trees. I'm going to look at some of these, four of these layers now. So the emergence. So the emergence are your top layer. These are the tallest trees, and they grow between 50 and 65 meters. And in an acre of a forest, so that could be a challenge for you to find out what it means by an acre, there are only one to two emergent trees. So these are the trees that stick up high above the rest of the rainforest. Okay. So it says here, between rainstorms, the climate here is often dry because of the bright sun and strong winds. Emergent trees cope with the dryness by producing tough little leaves whose small surface area and wax coating keep evaporation to a minimum. So because they've got a wax coating on their leaves, it stops them evaporating the moisture that they need to keep in to survive. Many emergent trees produce seeds with wings so the wind can carry them away from the ground directly below. So that's quite a uh, evolutionary term. So the seeds have wings, so then they float away and land on the ground below so they can be competing with the parent tree for food or water. Animals found in the emergent layer are things like eagles, monkeys, bats, and butterflies. So the canopy layer, that's the thick layer right at the top of the rainforest and it's a thick layer of vegetation which is between 20 to 40 meters high the leaves of the trees in the canopy generally have pointed shapes so that water will run off them this keeps the leaf surface dry and discourages the growth of mildew and mold the leaves on these trees are also enormous to absorb as much sunlight as possible some leaves can be seven meters across so I'm about two meters long. So some of the leaves can be seven meters. So in this layer, you have things like insects, hum and nibble on plants, reptiles sliver along the branches and trunks of the trees. There are monkeys chattering back and forth as they swing through the branches and brightly colored birds dart among leaves. Tree frogs and toucans are also found here. The canopy offers such an abundance of shelter and food that many of the animals living in the layer never need to descend from them. So a lot of them just stay in that layer. They never descend to the ground below. So below the canopy is the under canopy or the understory. And the understory usually reaches about 12 metres and it receives only 2 to 15% of the sunlight that the canopy gets. Many of the plants living in this level have adapted to growth in the shade and don't need much light for photosynthesis. So here's another word I would like you to research, see if you can find out what it means by photosynthesis. So understory plants have to find ways to advertise their flowers so that the animals and insects that carry their pollen can find them in the dim light. Jaguars, leopards, and an abundance of insects reside in the under canopy. And the shrub layer, so this is the bottom. So little grows here, except plants adapted to very low light. On the floor is a thin layer of fallen leaves, seeds, fruits, and branches that decompose very quickly. A leaf that might take a year to break down in a normal climate could be gone in six weeks in this area. So there are some animals that live here. The smallest animals generally live alongside the large animals here. The smallest ones include centipedes, cockroaches, scorpions, slugs, earthworms, and beetles. And you also have animals like gorillas, anteaters, and even people. So your task today is to use this YouTube clip, so go back through the PowerPoint and complete the Rainforest Layers worksheet. So what you need to do in the blank box, so in this area here, 
the pink area, you need to draw a sketch of a typical rainforest layer. You can use the example on the page now to help you. And then you have four boxes to complete, okay? So you've got the first box here will be your emergence. You've then got your canopies here. You've then got your understory here. And then you've got your shrub layer here. So they're the four layers that I want you to focus on. If you have any questions, you can log back in and ask me. And also, if you do get everything finished, I'd like you to colour in your diagram.